come on. Ugh. Yes. Hey guys, this is Multi24 Gaming with Extreme Landings Pro, and today I am here with the C130. This is a plane that came out with uh, update, let's say, I think it was like 2.3 or something like that. Mac never got that update, it skipped straight to 3.0, but that's okay. Um, the technical name in this game for this plane is the RS-138AP, but that's alright, we're just gonna stick with calling it the C-130. It appears to be a male plane, so that's pretty cool. Um, and what I will be doing for you guys today is a flight simulator walkthrough of this aircraft. So that means we're gonna stick, we're gonna pick a point A and a point B. We're gonna stick the failure rate on high, and I'll show you how to solve most of the problems that occur with this plane. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I'm running with my past knowledge of extreme landings because I've yet to actually successfully land the plane. Now that's okay because I've only flown it once, and that time was my last video when I blew it up by trying to land it upside down, but that's okay. Um, we are gonna go to Flight Simulator, and I'm gonna reset this, uh, reset to zero, we're gonna figure out where to go. Mm, I'm trying to zoom out, but can't. That's something they need to fix. What about Alaska? Any, any, air there's an airport in Alaska. It's too high up though. Literally, we should just do the United States. That's the most vanilla thing in the world, but that's okay. How about around where I live? We'll do a flight from Baltimore, uh, dang, no. I want to do Dulles. Dulles Airport. That's where I, that's where I'm closest to. Confirm. That's a good little flight. Let's see. Info. Set up. Let's do half passengers, half load. Eh, fuel. We'll be okay. All right. So that's a pretty good setup we have here. Uh, weather. We'll put weather on random. And let's get to the takeoff. Of course, it is nighttime, but that's okay. We're going to change that. Oop. I'm, I can change the weather. That's cool. There is a sunrise, it appears. Um, I want to change the time, though. I'm going to do that. I want it to be daytime, please. Pretty please. There. It's morning. Morning's good. Uh, resume. Sorry about that, guys. And click on that. All right. Here we have our mail, mail plane, and it looks fabulous. It really does look super good. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's wonderful. But the question is, what does all this stuff mean? Now, right here, it shows oil pressure, okay? Here it shows, like, how hot it is, oil temperature. Um, down here is PSI, pressure, um, and stuff like that. This tells you whether the plane's about to die or not. Now, I have a hard time reading this so because um, I've not had any flight training, and I'm pretty sure that's what you learned in the 19... 40s um but i do know how to turn this on with hotkeys so uh for a mac you just tap it with a uh, windows computer but for a mac you hold down spacebar and or windows i think and you can see all the keys so i use y u i and o so just literally you could tap them all do 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 and then as you can see it's h and g here or j sorry so you can switch between the different engines and start them each up one by one now, I like being unpredictable, so I'm going to switch straight to 4. Aha! Now we'll do engine 3. Bet you guys didn't expect that. Alright. Our plane is now running. N we have no idea what our faults are going to be yet. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Fuel seems to be fine at the current moment. That's the APU auxiliary power unit. We'll need that probably. Let's... Oh, let's let's go in here. Let's take a look in here first. I got I forgot I'm reviewing the plane sort of flight simulator walkthrough slash review. To be honest, this is the inside of the plane. I mean, it, you can see it, they they have textured it to look make it look old, which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, here's our throttle and stuff. Do do do. So our reverse inverters. That's our uh, pedals, which basically decides you know whether we go right or left. Uh, sorry, bank right or left. I don't really know what that wheel does. Maybe it's the brake. Don't know. Um, but you can't really press anything in here. As you can see, it's a mail plane, so... I mean, we got some pretty cool windows in here. 
but I'll do a video possibly of just only the cockpit view. But I do like recording these videos from the outside, just so you can get a good feel of the plane. So, I'm going to throttle it. I forgot to put the flaps halfway down. I just did. Okay, speeding up. It's a very tall tail. I probably should have checked the rudder to make sure that, yeah, that's working fine. We do have a lot of passengers, apparently. I put the passengers all the way up, which doesn't make much sense because it's a mail plane. I don't know how many passengers are on a mail plane. But I did put uh, load quite far up there, too. All right, I think the plane should take off now. Good deal. We are off the ground. I put the flaps back up. Watch that gear go back in. got a really nice view though of the place inside I really do like that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our autopilot if the plane has it apparently it does we're gonna set this to the respectable distance I have to look really closely to see I think that says 104 so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna turn that to 104 making sure that we're not crashing in the process yeah I think it's 104 uh, speed. You can see our airplane is turning now on its own accord. It's doing it all by itself. So, obviously, this plane's autopilot is rather sophisticated, which I'm not complaining about. So, good deal. That just looks amazing. It looks absolutely wonderful. I love it. Look at that. Alright, sorry. I'm getting distracted a bit. We have our first alarm. Uh, so now we don't know how fast we're going. That means we can't really set our speed. I've got it on full throttle, so that's all we'll really want anyway. So back up here. Uh, let's just maintain an altitude of 5,000 feet. And let's hit time. But we can't hit time... Uh, what do you call it? We can't hit time without being very careful. Because what will end up happening... Shoot, like that. We just lost an engine. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to go to the engines, uh, engine panel, and which engine? It's engine one, so we go there, blow it out. Alright. So, yeah, let me walk you through what just happened. I hear another engine getting really loud. Which one is it? This one's looking pretty bad. That's, I don't know which engine it is, though. Alright, we lost, we lost engine four as well. We're running on two engines now. Let's check our speed. Oh, we, we don't know what our speed is. Guys, we might not make it there. Uh, I'm going to turn off that autopilot. Um, we are approaching. We have two engines running. So that can be perceived as bad. All right. So we got the two engines running. Now let me walk you through what just happened. Uh, so... The oil pressure kept going down, down, down. Is that another engine? Alright, so there's two dials. One is for uh, each engine. These two engines are both screwed. And then these two engines are fine. That's two and three. And then this is four and one. So the oil pressure was getting up, and then it got to the point where it blew up. There's nothing we could really do. We could have reduced the throttle, but that still would they still would have eventually blown up. So uh, right here we have our... What do you call it? Um extinguishers so we can extinguish as many times as we want I don't believe we're able to relaunch the engines uh, after we've blown them out but we can give it a go that might be something you switched oh sorry yeah uh, switch four yeah they're busted but we're still flying fine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to the autopilot and hit time and hopefully nothing else goes wrong on our way there. Alright, we are there. So give me a second. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm feeling a little sick. Alright, so there we have Dulles Airport. Not really looking like Dulles Airport. No, we took off from Dulles, duh. Silly me, this is JFK, I think hard to tell um all right so let us 
turn off our direction autopilot and let's make our way for a landing uh, I'm kind of bothered that only three faults have shown up that means we've got probably about two more to go before uh, you know all the faults are up usually there's about five at high faults so uh, otherwise there really would be no making it here so we're gonna be steady and careful about this still full throttling the engines we don't want another incident I don't know what the speed is obviously we're going slow enough to put the gear down that's good I'm gonna make a fairly steep dive remember guys this is called extreme landings that means these planes are landing in extreme situations so that also means is that in there in no way are these landings going to be ideal so you know everyone's already everyone would be dead in the plane you know uh, everybody would have been passed out and well yeah maybe but they're alive and that's what matters when two of the four engines have decided to bust alright now the question is I think we may be going too fast yeah we're going too fast we're gonna go for another turn we want to keep everybody on the plane alive Okay, guys, I apologize for all that hassle. It took me quite a bit of time to actually get the plane to, uh, to turn around. And it looks like we found another glitch. Yes! We have another, uh, basically airport that decides that it does not want to, uh, not float. Look at this. Apparently, as well as a, what was the, where was the other one? The other one was in Britain somewhere. We have another floating airport. So that's, that's notable. Uh, shoot, we're losing, we're losing speed. Still losing speed. Still losing speed. This plane is not so great with only two engines. All right. We're going to do this. Come on, airplane. 50, 40, Come on. 30, Ugh. Yes, I think. Whoa, did we do that? Oh, yeah, stop, plane, stop, just stop. We did that. Oh, my gosh. You're kidding me. Holy flagger muffin. Great job, me. I never Okay. Either that's something new or I don't know how many planes successfully land while rolling. Usually the runway has some braking ability. So if you land on grass and you go over the runway, you usually lose your wheels, but that time we didn't. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I'm not, like, laughing off my top. That's that's insane. I've not done that before. The music's telling us we did a good job, though, so I'm pretty happy. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to sum that up. This is the C-130, as I will call it, or mail plane. Um, there's a lot of different ways of calling it. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you for my next flight simulator walkthrough or just regular video. It just completely depends on what I feel like doing. Um, anyway, once again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.